we'll start the class off with original. Let's get a good look at uh, right here. The source or cause from which something arises. That would be a better definition for original in 120. Here's my favorite one. Not derived from something else. Fresh and unused. But that part right there, not derived from something else. That's a, that's a major manifestation within uh, 120. A first form from which other forms are made or developed. Last but not least, the most important one. Start off with the humble beginnings of a rabbi, of the rabbinite, named Kamasi Tului. A real Hebrew. Under Mel Chesnek from the Ches Nation. His teachings were that of the Old Testament. The first five books of the Old Testament. Exodus and Deuteronomy, Numbers, Leviticus, Genesis. That was his foundational teachings. Uh, not to eat fish over 20 pounds no bottom dwellers fish must have fins and scales ocean dwelling animal if you ate it also the split hoof and chew a cut animals that you did eat it would be from the stomach up none of that oxtail and all of that slave food also that he showed me how the genetic structure of the 12 tribes had nothing to do with geographical location but had more to do with bloodline. The reason that the geographical location ha cannot uh, give you an understanding of who and which tribe is which based on the Hebrew teachings is because the original people on the planet earth constantly move about so today an asiatic that is in cuba that same asiatic may be in florida the same asiatic that was in saint thomas or saint croix or saint kitts may be in connecticut then the Connecticut Asiatic woman and the Floridian Asiatic man may meet up in the Bronx and have a child. So based on the geographical location of the teachings of who and what tribe is what, that would not fit within the bloodline and the structure of the 12 tribes due to the fact that what tribe would you be from if your parents uh, had went through that same uh, geographical change and you were born in America, would you be Judah then? You feel me? I only bring that out is because uh, normally, being that I'm from the 5% nation and my humble roots uh, start off with the Hebrew nation, there's certain Hebrews, not all of them, but certain Hebrew Israelite brothers wanted to attack the 5% nation. And in their attack, that was one of the things that came up and these are the questions that I asked, just what I just said now. And no one answered that question of the geographical locations. You base your mathematics on geography and not blood, genetics, DNA, and RNA. Because if I was born in the Bronx and I have a child and I have them born in, say, Chad, and my woman could have came from Jersey. Uh, when we have our child in Chad, does that change the bloodline? Will not my father still be that child's grandfather? You feel me? Uh, 
um, when I did some research on F.S. Cherry, and no, you know, I'm not dissing F.S. Cherry. He did what he did. But it looked like, based on the research that I did, that he was like Pentecostal and Baptist. And then he took that Pentecostal Baptist twist and added Judaism more from the European Jews. And then he came up with his Hebrew Israelite group. I would say they still fall under the God cipher degree in 120 lessons or the knowledge cipher degree in the 1 to 40. Based on the uh, paperwork that I did the knowledge to, that's what it looked like to me. Also, when I did the knowledge to the, the uh, manifestation that was being made manifest, it looked like to me also that he fell under this uh, God's culture or freedom degree in 120 lessons, which is the knowledge culture or freedom degree in the 140. Now, I would like you to refer yourself to the uh, biblical teachings. Um, and we're going to go to uh, St. John chapter 10, right? We'll go to St. John chapter 10, and we'll go to uh, verse 34, right? And Jesus answered, answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said ye are gods? Now if you look at the verses before, you'll see where he says, um, My sheep hear my voice. And I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out from out of my hand. You feel me? Then on he goes on to say, I and my father are one. My father, which gave them me, is greater than all. And no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. Then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. And that's when Jesus answered them. Many good works have I shown you from my father. For which of those works do ye stone me? And the Jews answered, saying, For good works we stone thee not, but for blasphemy. And because that thou, being a man, makest thyself God. And that's when he banged them in their head, just like our father did. Say ye of him whom the father has sacrificed and sanctified in the wilderness of North America and sent unto the world, thou blasphemest him, because I said I am the son of God and one with my what? Father? That's what you throw stones at me? Huh? Mr. Zebula? Hmm. That the Father is in me and I in him. He wanted to pull some verses out of uh, Ezekiel. And I don't even know if he wrote them down right. But let's go to Psalms. You feel me? Let's go to Psalms 82. Where God standeth in the conjugation of the mighty. He judges among the gods. How long will ye judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked? Defend the poor and fatherless. Do justice to the afflicted and needy. Deliver the poor and needy. Rid them out of the hand of the wicked. They know not. Neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High, but ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. Arise, O God, judge the earth, for thou shalt inherit all nations. Here's another one I want to throw at Mr. Zebulon, because first of all, you got a name that sounds like you a Jew, even though you Asiatic, instead of having a name of a Hebrew, which is, there's a difference between a Hebrew and a Jew. And he's running after the gods of Europe who he knows nothing of. The 133rd, the song of the greeds of David. Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious ointment upon the head 
that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard that went down to the skirts of his garment as dew of Hermon. And as the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord commanded the blessings, even life forevermore. I'm not sure if you can see this well, but I just wanted you to do the knowledge to buttons. Alright, now when I did more research on buttons, I found out just how old the uh, buttons were based on uh, European research. Other uh, Asiatics that did research in anthropology and sociology. Now, when you do real deep study of the button, like they say the button on the lapel of your coat, uh, when you start looking at button, you understand if you doing your research on just the word button itself, then you will come short of the how old it is because see right here you can see how old they uh they circuit they talk about the the age of buttons and the places where the asiatics had buttons but when you do uh, when you do a deep in-depth research you start finding out that the true name of a button is seal it's a Bronze Age seal. Here's another seal that's ancient. A seal. Okay. Here's another seal. Now, if you keep going back in time, you will find out that seals are old like Egypt. Seals are over 10,000 years old in Egypt alone. But there were seals in Babylon. There were seals in your... Uh, I'll show you another place where I found out how ancient seals are. Which seals and button are equal. They they mean the same thing. It's just that in modern days, they call it a button to pin on the lapel of your coat. But in the ancient times, they would have been saying the same word would have been a seal. Seal from the Torah. To show you how old seals are. You can see the Hebrew writing. Do some more in-depth research on seals you can go to Zechariah he has a lot of uh, books but they deal with when you start studying and going into the anthropological study of seals which are buttons you find out how ancient they truly are so that means uh, Mr. Zebulon didn't really do his research correctly or he may not even know he might be honest in what he's doing and trying to resurrect the fallen Asiatic nation but he's giving them false information